BEA family, what's happening? Just the other day, heading home from school, I was stuck in a lot of traffic. A lot, a lot. I mean, it seemed like hours how long this uh, backup was on the highway. Heading home from school, I had to go to work in a few hours. So when I got home, finally, I had to cook two or three meals for the week. I wanted to meal prep. I I got my oil changed as well on the way home, so that took up time. And I had laundry to do. Obviously, I had to shower for work and get ready for work. So a few things all in the matter of about two hours' time that I had to do from when I left school, which is about 40 minutes away. So it was very difficult to do uh, these things in that short span of time. So, needless to say, I didn't get most of it done due to this big buildup on the highway uh, of traffic. So what I'm trying to say is that while I was in the traffic, I put on a good playlist, I stayed calm, and I, of course, was annoyed, of course I was aggravated, but I didn't let it consume my mood, totally, right? If you put on a 100% spectrum, I'd say 15%, not even 20. I'm telling you, not even 20. What I'm trying to tell you is don't let your happenings destroy your happiness. Run's House, when that show was airing years ago, Rev Run had said it one time and it stuck with me. Don't let your happenings destroy your happiness. Most of the things that happen to us are incontrollable, right? We can't control what is going on around us, right? If we have a shitty day at work, you can't predict that in a sense for the most part. If uh, you're stuck in traffic and you really needed to get things done, you can't predict that. Uncontrollable. It's not in your control. Why would you let something that's not in your control determine how you're going to live out the day or each day for that matter? You have to roll with the punches. You have to live life in the best way possible. Don't let certain situations that you have no control over dictate your mood or determine how you're going to live out each day. That's what I wanted to tell you all today. Do not let your happenings destroy your happiness. Look at the grateful side of things. Look at the blessings that you have. Look at your health, your happiness. Uh, the wellness that you have in your life that you share with the people around you that you love. Those are the big things that you should always try to focus on and remain focused on in this crazy, unpredictable life that we live. Believe, excel, achieve. Miss you guys. Thanks for watching.